Hello Leos and welcome to my channel. I want to thank you for liking, commenting, subscribing and your continuous support. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus for April 15th through the 30th of 2018. So Spirit Angels, what messages do you have for Leo? Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus for the next two weeks in April. Okay, so for a group of you, you are going within and you are trying to um, do a little bit of self-evaluation, try to figure out where things went wrong and what your part was in it. Um, you're kind of feeling a little defeated, um, maybe a little bit lonely, and you honestly feel like taking off. You just feel like taking off on your own and um, Yeah, I see you just walking away from everything. Um, you're getting out of a feeling uh, of being trapped in your thoughts, in your actions, uh, physically trapped, emotionally trapped. You guys are getting out of that. You are seeing things with the eagle here in the picture um, from a new perspective. And... And you are going to start taking life on um, in a different, with a different attitude, a different, like I said, a different perspective. Yeah, some big movement going on here, guys. So <clears throat> your, uh, your Knight of Pentacles is being clarified by your Knight of Pentacles. So you're moving forward. You're going to move on. Um, you are going to consider offering your um, time, your your investment in somebody else. And it's taken you all the strength you've had to walk away from this person. You just felt like you had to leave it all. You just leave it all behind and start fresh. You um, felt trapped by a situation um, at work or something with your finances, but you are taking a new perspective on that. You're getting a different look at it and you are realizing that you don't have to stick it out there any longer. Um, you are turning your back and you have spent a lot of nights um, trying to figure out what to do with this situation, but you just don't feel the same that you used to. You feel um, empty. You feel like you have poured your heart out. You've invested so much and there's just really nothing left for you to um, to benefit by investing any more of your time or effort into this situation. So you guys are choosing to um, move forward. Move forward on a more spiritual path. Move forward and find self-healing self and balance. And um, a group of you could be moving away from a Sagittarius. We got Leo. Um, I think that's the only major arcana card so far. So. Uh, but by the end of April, um, yeah, by the end of April, you are moving forward. You are moving forward in search of these two cups. The eight of cups, um, card is always setting out on a spiritual journey in search of true love of that two of cups love that's shared. Um, spirit is cautioning you to be careful your intuition is not, um, there's something blocking you right now. And so to make sure you are really evaluating um, and taking everything, take everything, um, a second glance at everything. Don't be so quick to jump in um, because there's something that's just a little off. Um, yeah, you're just tired of the conflict. You're tired of the back and forth um, battling, constantly battling within your home. It's throwing you out of balance. You feel that um, your partner isn't giving you the attention you need, the love. Um, there's something that's lacking that they're not giving you and it's a constant battle or them to you and you guys are constantly bickering over it. You're tired of, you're tired of the stress and anxiety it's caused. Um, and once you um, move forward you're going through a transformation. You're you're transferring into 
your new you. You are shedding all of that that no longer serves you and um, and coming into your to your own. Your things are coming to an end here. This the world card is here and it has to do with a earth sign male. Something to do with your foundation at home, your structure, your what you thought you built with this person. Um, those things, something's coming to an end, Leo. Um, somebody is there going to make you a love offer, but be be careful of this. It's more of a, sh a shallow love offer. It may not be enough. It may not be what you are looking for. Um, I see it's the same person, but they're not offering you what you need out of this relationship. So, like I said, just um, be cautious because it might not be what you think it is. Um, you think it's a cup of love and there's a fish jumping out of it. They're standing in shallow water, which means it's early, it's premature, it's um, shallow. So, um, and you honestly are just tired of the fight. You're tired of defending yourself. You're tired of being beat up, battled, and bruised from, not literally, but from being at war with this person. So... Spirit said, but holy cow, my candle's like freaking out. <laughs> it's like sizzling over there. Um, in the, the third week of April, you're going to have to make a choice whether to stay or whether to go. Spirit's saying, follow your heart. That's all you can do. If you follow your heart, you can't go wrong. Don't feel, um, in the end of April, don't feel like you are codependent on this person. Don't feel like they need you or you need them. Everyone is always okay on their own. So if it's no longer serving you to let it to let it go. And the last week of April coming into the first week of May, Spirit is saying to pick your battles. Um, you don't have to argue over everything. Just uh, pick your battles. That's the most important um, advice for that last week. Be careful of that shallow love offer. I feel that there's some deception behind it. There is, um, not all the truth is coming forward there. So, allow these cycles to end, uh, Leos. You guys have some big changes coming your way. Um, but, but there's a lot of endings and a lot of new beginnings happening, um, with this new moon energy. So, just be patient with your loved ones, with yourself, um, Concentrate on what you need, on your self-healing, what you want out of life, what you want out of a partner, and just make sure you voice that before um, walking away because they might not know what it is that you really truly want if you haven't told them. So just know that you are not trapped. You're never trapped. And if it's time for you to go, then, then it's time for you to go. So face your fears. There's nothing to be afraid of. And... Um, and the divine will never lead you in the wrong way. So follow your heart and your inner guidance. Listen to your inner voice, that intuition. Um, just be cautious. So I hope you guys enjoyed your messages. I will see you next time. And as always, God bless.